and boom we are live what's going on guys welcome in absolutely fantastic to see you all hope you're all having a marvelous day so far take a seat and get comfortable so <clears throat> excuse me on today's video we're going to be checking out a band uh sorry a song called fool by a band called feel shame so a little bit of backstory on this band. Um, I was, as I usually am, listening to a shit ton of metal of all different all different types, um, and I stumbled across, across one of their songs called uh, Sertraline, um, which is a um, which is a uh, a medication that's primarily used to treat uh, depression, but it's also used to treat PTSD and anxiety and panic attacks and all that type of stuff. Um, yeah, it's used to treat that here in the in the UK. Where I where, where I currently uh, currently live, and would you believe it, the band are also UK based as well. Go figure. Um, I heard that, and I thought, wow, this is this is really really cool. No, normally, I'm not really into metalcore that much, um, just for various different reasons that I'm not going to ramble on uh, ramble on about too much. But uh, this instantly grabbed me. I was like, wow, this is really really cool. It's uh, the, the 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 structure of the song is really interesting. It's surprisingly heavy. Um, it's played really well, the production's really good, and also there's clean vocals in it, which I really, really, really dig. Most of the time when clean vocal, it, it, a lot of the time when it comes to kind of, like, kind of hardcore slash metalcore slash whatever you want to call it, the, the thing that usually puts me off is the vocals. I find them way too whiny and nasally. It's like they're really just exclusively being sung from, like, just here rather than there, and it just instantly reminds me of a band called... Um, Oh, Pierce the Veil. I don't even know if they're still making music. Was it what's that guy's name? Was it Kellen Quinn? Like I might be showing my age there, but that whiny douchebag. Um, it just yeah, I, I'm I'm really not a fan of kind of like you know early, but you know early two thousands really really whiny emo vocals. So just they they just don't register with me at all. That's not the case. With these guys, because I've listened to Sertraline um, and I've listened to all their other, you know, a lot of their, not all of them, but a lot of their other tracks. And I was like, wow, these are really, really good, powerful, clean vocals. I was like, this is this is cool as fuck, you know, I and mean, I'm definitely, definitely digging this. So <clears throat> then I did a little bit more digging and it turns out that they, re they released a song called, would you believe it, Fool. And they also released a music video for that as well. So I purposefully listened to everything else apart from Fool and that leads us on to the present day. So without too much more preamble let's get into this um right so what do we need here well we need the we need the video obviously so yeah okie dokie right okay right feel shame fool The video goes all the way up to 4K as well, but I'm not going to tax my little computer any more than it needs to be taxed. Okie dokie. Let's go. Let's get into it. Ooh. Oh, yes, let's go. He's got a set of pipes on him. I like it. I've been making 
making myself so making myself Watching you sustain yourself on the set So why don't you Well, that is fucking, that is groovy as fuck. Oh, here we go. going on to you man and you can hear it all perfectly really good man oh, yes Advertising on you. Shut up. I don't care about your advertising on YouTube. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. Feel shame. Fool. Um okay, so if it wasn't so if it wasn't obvious, I enjoyed the shit out of that. That was really, really entertaining stuff. So <clears throat> I'm going to try, I say this on every single video, I'm going to try and not ramble on too long and then the video goes on for about fucking four hours or some shit like that. Not literally four hours, but you know, you get what I mean. But the just the difference between that, those clean sung vocals or whatever you want, whatever you want to call them, the difference between them and other um, kind of metal corey, slightly hardcore bands, post-hardcore, I guess, that you would hear on Dreambound, for example. It's such a stark difference. It's just, he, he, he it, it was just, it was just a powerful voice, just a really, really powerful voice that went really, really well with, the, really, really well with the music. My dog's having a nightmare, if you can hear what that is. It sounds like someone tightening a screw. Um... <clears throat> That's definitely getting picked up. <laughs> Never work with animals. But anyway. Um, yeah, those are just really, really good, powerful 
vocals. They're just, they're, they're just, he sounds like he's singing correctly. It's not stupidly nasally. It's not really whiny. The the the, ly- the lyrics were great. It's just, it's just awesome. And also as well, not only was that a really catchy chorus, but it was also actually, I got slight, slight goosebumps listening to it. It was a really, really nice uplifting. Um, Uplifting um, chorus. It sounds. It sounds a little bit like. Um, it, it sounds a little bit like um, um, old school. We came as Romans, but um, but good, basically. Um, <clears throat> so um, yeah, it was just. It was so much more interesting than other music that's kind of similar to that. It, it's, it, you can you can almost guess what's coming next with a lot of kind of like you know dreambound. Relapse Records, they released quite a lot of that stuff as well. You could, um, you, you know, it wasn't obvious what was coming next. Or obviously, you could tell when the chorus was coming because that's like song. The, the songs have to be built around something. You know what I mean? There is actually a, a you know, a, a, a science to this. You know, but the grooves were different. The drumming was different. There was loads of interesting guitar work. It was all, everything was layered, like the vocals were layered, the guitars were layered, but the, everything cut through really nicely. You could, the bass was just loud enough, the guitar work was just loud enough, the vocals were loud enough, the drumming was, it was just, just top quality stuff. If all metalcore sounded like that, you would be, you would be, because believe me, I don't just, when I'm, when I'm deciding, when I'm deciding what to react to, my my I don't know if I don't know if other YouTube re- metal reaction guys do this. I, I have no idea, but I um, I see that something's been released. I check out everything else. I check out some other stuff that they've done. If I like that, I put that song on the list. And <laughs> my list is fucking stupidly long. It's like. Yeah, stu- stupidly, stupidly long because there's so much music being released. But that's how I do things. Um, <clears throat> so I do listen to a lot of different music. It's just a lot of it just isn't, it, you know, just isn't very good. But if that was the standard of metalcore, well, I, I'm, I'm going to call that metalcore. Maybe the band won't like being called metalcore, but it, I apologize in advance if they if they see this video. Um, if it all sounded like that, you guys would be hearing a fuck ton more metalcore on this uh, on this channel. It just so happens that I think the best stuff being released right now in the in the metal scene is base d- deathcore slash blackened the deathcore. I think it's the most interesting stuff being released right now. But um, yeah, I loved that. I loved that, and it wasn't surprising that I liked it because I enjoyed the I enjoyed the the album uh, Null um, so much. But I'm really really happy that I didn't listen to Fool. So then we could then we could do that reaction video fresh. So anyway, um, links to all the band's social medias, Instagrams, Facebook, Spotify, Bandcamp, all that shit will be down below. When the video is finished, when this video is fin- finished, please remember to click on the link for the for the music video we just watched. Leave a comment, give it a like, share it around. Um, Go to their Instagram, leave a comment there, follow them there, subscribe to their YouTube channel, turn on the bell for notifications, maybe pretend, you know, maybe maybe think about like, you know, buying a t-shirt or ordering a face mask or whatever. I think it's so fucking cool that these bands are, are now making face masks. It's very, very, it's a, it's a very shrewd business plan. Just do what you can to support them because I want to hear more from these guys. I really, really do because it's kind of, it's a nice change of pace to listen to something that's, um, listen to something that's a little bit, um, just different, different, you know, from just a, a wave of, you know, good deathcore, but there's a lot of deathcore bands out, uh, out there right now. So, one more time, feel shame, fool, fucking loved it, and I hope you guys liked it as well. So, yeah, take care of yourselves, love you all very much, and I will see you all on the next one. Later.